Hi, y'all. If you pay a great deal of attention to the CNN splash page, uh, you get the distinct impression that CNN is a technological equivalent of a person walking around the sandwich board that reads, the end is nigh, the end is nigh, and the latest cause of doom that clearly presages the fall of the Republic is that CNN was not invited to a press event at the White House. Clearly, this is a First Amendment issue, because if you read the First Amendment, you will clearly see that the glorious CNN shall always have personal access to the president in any of his events, uh, and if it's otherwise, then that is a great big sign, a great big harbinger of the end of days. QED. That's obviously what it, what's there. Um, now, of course, because of the game that the media plays, they can go out and find some group of people who are concerned that this raises important First Amendment issues, and then when they find that person, they can then say, uh, people are concerned that this presages the fall of the Republic, or that this is a great big uh, First Amendment concern. It's very problematic, and uh, wow, how convenient is that? We went out and found them, they said it, and now we can report on it. That's news. The First Amendment uh, guarantees a free press. The free press means that you are able to put pen to paper, write your articles, and publish them. Uh, I have not seen the White House try to stop CNN from being on the air. They haven't taken out any of, the, <clears throat> any of their towers. They haven't threatened um, any of the, the uh, writers or the producers or the editors or the schmernalists uh, with any legal action or anything. Just, look, I don't want you at my event. I would think that if we're going to say that access to an event is the dividing line between when we live in a police state and when we don't live in a police state, when we fall into tyranny or are about to fall into tyranny uh, versus not, that it would be better if access weren't uh, a primitive fact, that um, you can't just count on it as a brute fact of reality. I work for CNN and we're just so important, just ask us, our heads are that far up our own asses, we'll tell you how important we are. Uh, that we are just so important that no matter what we do, people just have to let us in so that way uh, we can dishonestly portray what has happened. I would think that a better solution would be that there is a rotation of news organizations so that way they have to compete in some way. Or it's not, um, it is not just a primitive fact of reality that they are going to be at a given event. That small news organizations will be there and sometimes large news, news organizations will be there, and you get this mix. And out of that mix, you're going to have some people that are dishonest, like CNN, and then you'll have other news organizations that nobody's ever heard of, that are small, you know, pioneering little groups of people who haven't been tainted by a sense of their own importance, that they're still going to do that pesky little reporting thing, uh, show up, and they're going to do it honestly. And if you have that, then you can kind of forestall the problem that, that arises when you get this sort of corporate um, inertia, where... Uh, people who work at an organization tend to think that whatever is good for the organization or whatever they believe is good for the organization is actually good for the greater society. You know, what is good for Ford is good for the whole country. That kind of delusional thinking. But no, CNN says, look, we want to lie overtly as often as possible and we expect you to pretend as though it's not happening so that way you have to keep letting us in uh, to every event, no matter how minor, no matter how important, so a way we can misreport on what it is that you've done. Now, it's curious because this little uh, game that's being played by the media has not been working out too particularly well for the media of late. Uh, they've helped Hillary Clinton lose. Uh, they are less trusted than Donald Trump, a person whom they uh, say is thoroughly dishonest, and yet that thoroughly dishonest piece of shit is better liked, more trusted, than CNN, which is also a thoroughly dishonest piece of shit. It is turning into the National Enquirer. Um, the way that you know there's not any kind of oppression happening is the same way that you know it when you listen to feminists who talk about how oppressed they are and how hated they are, and yet they're on the front page of every news organization uh, who gives them pretty much free reign to say whatever, uh, you know, whatever the cavalcade of nonsense is today without much of a pushback that these people can stand in the, the faces of police officers and cuss them out and call them scum uh, outside of men's events or whatever and they do it without any pushback they do it without any ramifications befalling them without any 
any negative consequences befalling them from the state actors. Yeah, they might get some shit on uh, social media from people who are like, hey, you're acting like a big twat, knock that off. But uh, people who are actually being oppressed by the man don't actually go stand in front of the man and tell the man what they really think of the man for the same reason that slaves didn't go tell Masta or Massa what they really thought of Massa because they would get hitched to a post and, and whipped. There is no oppression going on. There is no threat to the First Amendment. CNN was not invited to an event. Uh, I suspect that in the future there will be other events that CNN won't be invited to, notably. The National Enquirer is not invited to these events. For some reason, in the last 30 years, that hasn't presaged the downfall of the Republic. But again, you know, CNN is not self-important about the National Enquirer. It is self-important about itself, such that if it isn't invited to everything, that is what is the precursor to the end of days. Anyway, um, I suspect that in the future they will continue to not be invited to other events, and that if they would like to alter this, they could try to go back to journalism and try doing journalism again, instead of trying to explain how their opinion piece, um, you know, I can't say it's a fact-free zone because they do do some reporting. I mean, it's really hard to always be wrong. Even Donald Trump gets some stuff right. You know, an, accidental tr an accidentally true statement is still true. <laughs> but anyway, um, they could go back to actually doing reporting and try that for a change, and they might find that when their approval ratings will go up, people are going to start to trust the news media a little bit more, and that that would be the, uh, the way to fight Trump. But instead, they want to continue making up fake news and pretending that issues that aren't issues are issues. And uh, they're going to suffer for it. Not because of government action, but because people are looking and seeing how they're acting and going, God, you are acting like a toddler. We're going to treat you like a toddler. Have a great day.